All right, I got a $5,000 ticket. I got a $35,000 major. Feeling huff and puff. I'm gonna continue with the strategy of bouncing around to a couple of machines and winning on all of them. That was fun, right? Let's do it again. All right, huff and puff. Huff so and yeah, puff. 35,000 resets at 10. That's not bad, huh? Three and a half X. You know, we always play these majors when they're high. I don't think we've ever hit one. No, but when you hit one, you might as well hit a high one. Yeah. Very sound logic there, WBG. We hit the, that one that we were in 30,000, remember? No. You don't remember? Your dad left, he called in soft. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But we were playing that till we hit it, because it was like nine times reset. Yeah, and that took like five hours. Yeah. And and we lost our ass. Yeah. I mean, net, we might have hit it, but... We, oh, I think we lost 12 or 13,000. Oh, well, that's not bad. Well, and that was that. 25 a spin. Right. What? That was 25 a spin we lost that much. It oh. was max bet dimes. So I don't, I don't know if we need to explain this game. This is original Huff and Puff. All you need is six hats. That's all you can Yeah, they do. don't have both saws. I kept waiting to get both saws. They don't have them. I was about to ask you what you thought we were going to get first. <laughs> now, what's, what's the dynamic? Because we haven't played it yet. The Huff and even more Puff. That's good. We'll have to play that soon. Yeah, in the next uh, couple days. What uh, what's the added twist to that? Do you remember from that? It, it has like a secondary wheel where you can get gold buzz saws. Gold and additional buzz saws. prizes. Yeah. From what I've heard, it's even more volatile. Is it volatile? Or volatile? I got to think of a new word. I, what's another word for volatile? Uh, Risky. There are even more ups and downs on that game than in the two previous versions. So it can be a big Sando or a big winner. But yeah, in a, uh, so in an upcoming next yeah. couple of days, we'll be playing that. Yeah, that's right. I wonder who's going to get it here in Vegas. It'll be everywhere. Just like Huff and Puff and Huff and even more Puff is everywhere. It'll be everywhere. But it's only in like select places so far. How long does the game rollout take before it's everywhere? Only a couple of months. Yeah. No, because they, they anticipate it, they, they build the machines, and they have to deliver them and install them. Is it in its own new cabinet, or is it...? No, I think it's in the same cabinet as the, the uh, Rich Little Hens and also that new the Bananas Foster game. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. We're getting wrecked. Many such cases. Do you think it's because this game doesn't have winnability? Yeah. What do you want to play next? Uh, all aboard. All aboard. Should we go east or west? East. Somebody on it right now, so we got to get a bonus here first. Big Zach's here. You think he's going to join us going east? Yeah, he's into it. All right, let's get something. Oh, yeah. He's getting his fight. You sold him. Yeah. <laughs> I usually like to do it the morning up. Yeah. The flight I'm getting up. <laughs> All right. We got a little money back somehow there. Yeah. The line pays in this are much more frequent. And aren't they better, too? Uh, better? I don't know if they're better. Well, they are better. Meaning, like, if you get the big business pig, five of a kind, right, the, the an pays, equal the, amount would pay more. The pays are bigger because it's... Because he doesn't have that secondary bonus. Right. No mansion feature. But I mean, you could get a whole bunch of mansions, just get a bunch of hats with a bunch of retriggers, right? Yeah. Well, let's do that. Let's go. Come on now. Oh, I, I like when you get a full screen of those bigger pigs. Well. What else is going on in the world? Been meeting a lot of very nice people, I tell you. It's getting to the point when we go to a casino, we, we see so many people who uh, watch us, which is really fun to meet everybody. It's very cool. A lot of people say that they're, they go, oh my, well, let's see, I, you put me to sleep every night, or you know, I go to sleep with you every night. That's a lot of significant others aren't necessarily huge yeah, fans of us. Yeah, some significant others don't like it. They watch it all the time. Uh, what else? But what, is, what does your significant other think about it? Uh, she Vegas thinks, mom. She thinks that we gamble too much. 
but is, it, is every day too much? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. We're back at a low water mark. Tough now. game. So you guys still haven't figured out the details of the new and approved bet yet, have you? No, we got to consult with some uh, performance places and figure out what a realistic goal and all of that is. If if you weren't having a bet, what would your goals be, EJ? What would you want to achieve? Uh, get in shape for once. Right, but what would that look like to you? See, I don't know. You gotta what, change what? how you train. Muscles, yeah, six gotta, pack. Yeah, 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 that takes some serious, serious work. Yeah, it does. Well, I've been, I've been working on it. What's well, working out though? Yeah. You know, I mean, how long do you normally train? Like forty minutes. The warm up's about forty minutes. If wow. You wanna okay. Get muscles like that. When, when, when you were training, at your peak of training, yes. how much did you work out? Your whole life, your, your whole, day. whole life. <laughs> day. Four hours in the gym. Morning, you're doing other stuff too, and at night you're doing. I mean, it was in the off seasons. I mean, you're training 10 hours a day. It's everything you do wow. to get in peak, peak, peak performance. But then again, if like if you're just looking to you know have fitness goals to gain muscle and, and you know drop body, uh, you know gain lean body mass, you know it's going to be a lot more diet training. You know, hour and a half. All right, so I just got to up it a little bit. Hey, there you wow. go. That's a lot of money. A thousand bucks. Is it? I so little, I got to up it a little bit and eat a little based healthier. You're training, you know, your workout regimen. What's what's your goals? Is there? Yeah. You have a, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. If you were EJ, what would you set as a few pre preliminary goals for fitness? Well, we got to get base guidelines. You know, we got to see where he's at as far as uh, first. What are his goals? Okay. As far as then we got to see where we're at. As far as there's a lot of different tests. Like, what do you want to? What do you want? You want to have some muscles? You want to uh, have a six you're pack? You're the one I'm betting against. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to answer his question. Yeah. Is it more well, so I'm, a physique-based no, goal? No, I think it, I think just being in shape generally. I don't really care about the physique that much, but obviously yeah. you'd want to look good. Yeah. And then be healthy and in shape. So, yeah, somewhere in decent shape, I think. Okay. Any okay, suggestions? I yeah, let's go. I went to study in college. When, when are you moving? What? When are you moving? So I've been looking into that, too. I've been looking at houses lately. Everything's so expensive. Yeah, Vegas used to be cheap when we first a moved here. For anything. I mean, for, yeah. for I mean, less than a million bucks, we bought a freaking mansion in 2012. Where you live now? Yeah. Wow. Have, you, have you been to my house? Yeah. yeah. Thanksgiving, come on. Oh, it, yeah. It was, uh, you paid 800? I have a bad now. Now it's like probably I, 5X. I paid 800. I think it's worth like maybe almost 3 million. Beautiful house. Yeah, my mom, she, 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 like many others, watches you constantly now. Nice. Oh, nice. She was, oh, like, she was here last week. She was like, oh, you, Matt, he's been losing on some of his videos lately. She goes, <laughs> they're really playing a lot. She's like, it's kind of intimidating to watch. I was like, they'll get it back. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah she watches every video. I love, love it. it. Whoops. You both are kicking the thing. That was my fault. Uh... What do you think about this? Should we sack this? It doesn't seem to be wanting to pay. All the board's not open yet. It's given us a lot of fives. I don't like losing four grand. This huff and puff or three grand is tough. Yeah. Well, no wonder that major got so high. Come on. We could play Wolf Peak. That's probably better. Oh. That's probably better than this. You think? Easier to get a bonus. I don't know. You ever gotten a bonus on Wolf Peak? I watched the one time you guys played the game. You know, it looks it's hard to follow. It looks pretty challenging. Yeah, it's tough. This is a Sando. Well, I also don't like not getting a bonus though. I don't know. It's not every day you get a former NFL player offering you fitness advice. So I'm in. You yeah. Definitely take him up on it. I'm gonna take him up on it. I what? think if I was you, I would create. Yeah. Bonus. You gotta focus now. Back to the game. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Hold that thought. Up with the novelties. Back to the game. Come on. Oh, I don't like that. Come on. Jeez, a lot of dead spins. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Now we're logging. No wood. This machine needs Viagra. Come on, get some wood. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, what a complete sando. 
Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, that's, that's disturbingly bad. There is good news. Get to move to a new game now. Yeah. Well, now I kind of want to get it back, though. Maybe it's warming up. Uh, yeah. Raise the bed, he says. You want in? Yeah. Sure. Yeah? <laughs> he, he knows I got you some money. I got some money to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows you warmed it up. All right. That sucked. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, so you're going. So what were you saying? No! Oh! Back to back. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, that was awkward. You thought I was going yeah. for a fist bump. I definitely wasn't. Idiot. Good job. All right, let's go. Hats. Here we go. This will be a good one now. Yes, it will. Well, after that spin. And that spin. Come on, you little sando. Jeez. Louise, come on. Are you kidding me? No, it's not kidding me. Nope, For not crying out loud. All aboard? I guess so. Yeah, this thing's a sando. But the next bonus might be really good. <laughs> I mean, that was back to back. That was the yeah, very next spin. It's basically like it was just all one big bonus. It's still, yeah, you know, exactly. yeah. Those two are the same. It's one bonus. You're right. Even if they were one bonus, it would still be and a bad bonus. they're all 50s too, which is only 25 bucks. Oh. All right, let's see if we can just bang it again real quick. More? Yeah. So what were you saying? One thing he should do or something like that? So you're looking to create some sort of a challenge, right? For yeah. AJ, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. For like a betting well, purpose. Well, he lost here. our bet. You cracked? Yeah. All right. He won that Royal and he yeah. cracked. Hey, I don't blame him. 32,000 is a lot. Okay, so I think... So like end of year, I have to achieve something. And end of year is a long time, and we're yeah. talking, you, that's what you're looking for, end of year? Yeah, and I want to, yeah, drive him not drinking out a year, so I gotta, but then, then I have to have a challenging goal to achieve by the end of the year, and if I don't, I lose, uh, I think we're gonna bet 20 grand. I thought you said 25. Oh, uh, uh, 25, yeah. I mean, is it gonna be like strength-based? EJ needs to bench press a certain amount. It by can the be end any. That's that's a that's a good one. Yeah, chin ups, push ups, something like that. Mainly, yeah. If you're gonna, you know, sport, something sports performance related, there's gonna be a lot into it as far as dietary, tons of. Uh, I, I have a question. If there was a single metric that you could measure that would indicate overall fitness, like push ups or sit ups or chin ups, if you had to pick one of those, what would it be? It doesn't have to be those. It could be, it could be squats. It could be bench press. Any individual. I would say you know chin ups, total body strength. I mean a chin up is probably uh, most difficult to do. You know push ups is, are easier than chin ups, obviously. I mean I think it would have to be some sort of something in the in the gym, like a lifting, or maybe got to run a mile by the. Maybe you should create a couple different. Things. Like he has to run a mile uh, by this time, and he should have to lift this much and do something else right. this much. Oh, that's that's good. what I think you should do. Yeah, you're gonna know? you need to create different things. Then it's like overall fitness. Exactly. What All you, right. What's a good time for a mile for somebody? Uh, we gotta. EJ's. I think to drag this along, you need to have some sort of a buildup. So we gotta think. See where EJ's at now before we can create goals. So for you're him. telling me I gotta go run so a mile? Like, we need that to get sucks. a video like called EJ Strength Training, uh, your, yeah. EJ Baseline, and here, here's yeah. our different things. Okay, so we got the we got the, the, the slots channel, we got the fishing channel, yeah. we got the motivational channel, and we have EJ's Fitness Goals channel. I like it. Uh, running a mile sounds like a terrible time. But, it, but running a mile in a reasonable speed is probably a very good indicator of fitness. Absolutely, yeah. So you right, can yeah. have some different don't shorts, do any you know, as far as EJ's mile time, EJ <laughs> yeah. on the bench press. Uh, I don't do any cardio. So you've just decided that you're going for it here, huh? I guess. How much can you uh, bench now? Uh, not much. One, uh, 65, I think. What, what do they say about being able to bench your own weight? Or is, what is that? Like a certain amount of repetitions for yeah. your body weight? I mean, I, I think if you can rep your body weight, you know, 10 times, I mean, it's pretty... I can can't do, do that? that. No. Right now, no. Yeah. And it's at a certain point, yes. Yeah, you've oh, been absolutely. Able to do that? Yeah. yeah. What's the most you ever weighed? Three hundred and twenty. Three twenty. Yeah. Same. How was playing in the NFL? It's, it's very challenging. You know, at high level, everyone's so good. 
everyone wants it so bad. It's, it's a daily grind. If you're not like the guy making 30, 40 million a year, you know, you're out there every day fighting for your job. Hmm. Kind of like the slots. Kind of like all yeah, the right is... now. Like every spin is a, uh, is a lot riding on every spin. Right. Yeah, we're getting wrecked. Your entire day is determined by one spin, really. Come on. Come on. Son of a gun. Well, this is why I say we should bet 25 bucks and not 50. No. 100, yeah, there you go. Uh, well. So what'd you drink when you hit the, uh, the 8X Royal? Uh, some Dom Perignon, oh, yeah. champagne. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was a full-on celebration. Yeah. Is that the only thing you drank? No, I drank a few other things. Uh, I had some margaritas. And, uh, yeah, that was it. Gotta, you know, you can't be drinking too many different things, but the champagne gives you a headache. I had a little headache this morning. Is that true? I'm not much of a drinker. Is it true that if you mix your drinks, you wind up with a worse uh, hangover? Hey! Yeah, you get a worse hangover. I think if you drink too much sugar, sugary stuff gives you hangover. Champagne, I think, has a lot of sugar in it, and probably the margarita mix as well. Okay, let's not do this again. Oh, well, for God's sakes, this machine is just a complete and utter sand up. We have at least one gold. Come on. Oh, you got a chance here, last spin. Yeah, three targets. Get them all, all three. Come on. Oh! Didn't hit any of them. This is gonna be another disaster. I think it's not over. We didn't get any of our money back. You thinking all aboard or are you thinking this again? I don't know. What are you thinking? I don't know. I was just said I was gonna switch machines and now I'm getting sucked into this thing because so I feel like it owes me. Seven hundred and fifty bucks. I think that's the best bonus yet. Yeah, well it definitely is, but I mean oh. switch games? I don't know. Alright, let's say you you clearly wanna stay. I just want to get a good, you know, shot of that major. We haven't had a shot. You got to have the golds to get a shot at the major. You also got to have money in the machine to get a shot at the major. We're running very dangerously low. So, what was your favorite team that you played for in the NFL? I would say the LA Rams. LA Rams. It was part of the, you know, that's when they, we had the Hard Knock show that year. It was during the transition from St. Louis to LA. So there was a lot of cool things that went along with it. It was a good experience. I, I heard a rumor you're on Hard Knocks. You were on that show, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah a bunch of times, absolutely. Yeah. Famously, uh, you get, you know, cut from the active roster on there in one of the episodes. Oh, really? It's a whole lot scene. Oh, yeah. I've never seen the show, but I, I've been told that you were on it. Yep. Yeah. So they, they captured you getting cut on the, the whole, show? It's, a whole, it's about a five, six minute whole no deal. Way. Yeah, they, you know, they take you off the front, out of the way. There's a strength coach comes into the weight room. He says, hey, we need to see you. The coach needs to see you. And you, you already oh, no. know what time it is. It shows me and the strength coach with the walk of shame going to the coach's office and, and the general manager too. And it shows, you know, whole interaction. It's all on there. It's all live. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, that's torture. Yeah. And then they show him put getting me out of uh, taking me in a car to take me away. Yeah. Oh, they're like, they're like clean out your desk. You're out of here. Oh, you have to turn everything in. Oh, yeah. They give you. They, you had, did you have any idea that it might be happening? Or yeah, I actually stuffed some stuff. Like I kept the whole playbook, and I actually got got out. They got out with it, and I used it later on in my coaching career for a lot of metrics. But has the statute of limitations run out on that? Because that uh, you're talking okay, about you know, it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Come after me. Yeah. <laughs> But, I, but you had no warning. I don't know how it works. So okay, there's a back. It's not 
now they, they've made some changes, but back when they would trim the roster during training camp from 90 to 53, uh, there were certain days that they did it on, and they would cut a certain amount of guys. So if you make it through this day, you know, you're still alive to the next day. Then wow. if you make it through this day, you're alive to the next day. And then they have the final, final cut. And if you make it through there, you're in the money. Because, I mean, wow. you know, nothing's guaranteed until you get to the season. So it's kind of like American Idol for football players. Yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. yeah. Wow. They, you're right. They, yeah. yeah! Yeah! All right, we needed it. Yeah, we did. I have a feeling that this is this is the one. Oh, idiot. Oh, yeah. That always ruins well, the Well, but that's the first time we've gotten an actual hat, I think, on the first spin. And no, thus far, no blank spins. Oh, I can't say that anymore. Oh! Yeah. yeah. The accidental fast spin worked that time. All right, that's good. Let's get that major now. Left side, left side. Come on, left side. Open up. Oh, idiot. Come on. Ah! Oh, still a sand though. I mean, ish. I mean, three woods, one goal. The goal's worth at least 500, hopefully 2,500. At 50 cents? Hopefully 35,000. Well, mine, mini's 500, minor's 2,500. Isn't it usually the average is a mini worth? Uh, that's the yeah, minimum, I believe. All right. So not yeah, they're better on those. Let's hope the woods are good. Maybe we'll get a very rare wood coin. Very rare wood coin? No. There's 850 bucks. Come on, coin. 750 bucks, man. Not well, optimal. We got some money to play all aboard now. Yeah. 1750. So, I mean, I got us back up to almost where we were when I should have quit the first time. All right, then. All right, going east. So we've lost 2,500 on the old Huff and Puff. Those were some Sando bonuses. Yeah, we, you'd think if you got that many bonuses in that amount of time, you'd, you'd three be winning. Or four of, three of them or four of them? Four. Four, four? yeah, complete yeah, Sando. Yeah, back to backs and then two other ones, I believe. Yeah. Well, this, $50 back. Go! Yeah. Four bonuses in 15 minutes and you lose three grand. How does the casino stay open? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this game, you got to turn the volume all the way up for one. Then what else, you need six of the trains or three of the dynamites. Come on, six trains. I like the train bonus vastly better than three yeah. dynamites bonus. Somebody grabbed that other ticket that was sitting on the machine, yep. right? You leaving tickets laying around? No, somebody got it. I got it. WBG is the detail guy. Let's Hell, go yeah. Oh, it wanted to come. It's prairie dogging. Prairie dogging dynamite. That was a potential, that's what she said right there. Oh, yeah. I was going to go with the don't we all, but I decided not to. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we, we don't go. go. I think we might be losing faster at this than we did on Hufflepuff. And that's the case with this game. Remember that time we lost like 13 grand on this playing with that basketball guy? Yes, that was that, 100, 100 to spin though. Tristan Jazz, he is so good at basketball, man. Did I saw him. On, it's, he's yeah. a show them on your feet now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, a little wiener there. Are you good at basketball? Me? Yeah. Yeah, me and three pointer. Uh, I was decent at basketball, I'd like to think, when I was in uh, elementary school. Speaking of elementary school, I have a question of the day for you. Oh, it's oh been a question while. of the day. Yes, yes. Um, from Ioni Tammy says, "Have you ever had a nickname?" Uh, you can wait. Answer that. Yeah. Hey, oh. right, the question of the day triggers bonuses. I didn't know that. All right. Big numbers. Are those those are Sandos? Yeah. One at a time. Now. That's good. All right. How about you flip the maxi? Flip the maxi. That's crazy. I'm not even trying to sing it. Oh, without yeah. W2G, it's just not the same. Oh. We're not even trying. Yeah, right. out of respect for him. Respect, exactly. Something good. Idiot. Yep. Oh, oh, I forgot. Maxi. I bet oh. you get another one. 
Yeah, how much? A lot. How about after this? Let's see what's on the other side. Yeah. Another you one? Get money? Uh, sure. Well, it's not fair now. All right, how much? Go to bet. I hope you're right. Wrong. An idiot. That was very similar to a bunch of straw houses. Yeah, exactly. Keep, keep going, switch games, what do you want to do? I like, I like this game, and I, I'm too lazy to get up right now. Let's try and get that dynamite bonus with the gold tooth guy. We're up uh, on, on, this, this on this game so far. Oh, so back to the question of the day. Oh, yeah. Nickname. Did you have a nickname? Yeah. Did you ever have a nickname? When I would go to Minnesota in the summers, uh, it was a small town, oh, and the kids, they, their hobbies were like fighting, and uh, yeah. it's kind of a rough, rough bunch, and uh, and they uh, could be a little vicious in many ways, and they uh, they called me Zit for a zit? while, yeah, because oh, okay. I had a, I had a kind of a Zit problem when I was in, uh, <laughs> in, in my <laughs> teens, and uh, all right, Zit, that's an. And thing that every adolescent deals with. Yeah, and then uh, they called me Chet. Uh, Chet. And that was from some movie. I think it was, was it, uh, what movie was Chet the Big Brother in? Uh, oh, God, I can't remember. So the, they were just making fun of you. Yeah, they, well, they, and then they called my, my brother Pigpen. Uh, <laughs> did he, did, was he sloppy? Uh, I guess I don't remember why they call him that, and then but not really a no nickname that that was like that stuck or anything like that. See, I thought you might have said Bud or something because I know how much you love that name. Oh yeah, it was funny. My dad's nickname was Buddy. Okay. So he went by Buddy, and uh, that's what I'm named after. Yeah. Oh well, man. Your name's not Buddy. Nah, Eugene. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, you're a high. He was a Eugene Matthew, and then you were named after a hybrid. I have two uncles, my mom's brother and my dad's brother, but they were named Jim slash James. So we decided to make you Eugene James. Come on now! Oh, dang it. How about you? Did you have a nickname? I actually, yeah, I have a nickname when I, uh, growing up. Yeah. Uh, let's see. When I was in, when I played football in college, my nickname was Big Cat. Big cat. Big cat, yes. Okay. So uh, that was because when I was a freshman, I had long hair. And our coach like couldn't remember my name. And he goes, oh, that guy's a big cat over there. Oh, there and you that, go. That, uh, that kind of stuck, actually. So people still call me that uh, in, from football. But now uh, not not many uh, people well, that come in across day to day call so me that. Just so you know, uh, a quarter million of your closest friends are now going to refer to you as Big Cat. Yeah. Thank you. What about you, WBG? Any nicknames? Uh, WBG has always been my nickname. Yeah, that's <laughs> odd. Ever since I was a little kid. You were kid. playing dice on the yeah. playgrounds yeah. back in the day. Yep. World's biggest gambler always. We used to play like poker in seventh grade like with our lunch money. And uh, we'd go up to this guy's house. Lived, Mike Henderson, he lived up on the hill behind the school. And, uh, and I got wrecked in uh, in poker. I had no idea what I was doing, but I loved gambling since I was a little kid. I like how EJ snuck the uh, increase the bet right in front of you. 25 lines though, so it's like betting the same amount almost. Is that right? I think so. Don't I you? actually do have one suggestion of game we should maybe play after this. Yeah, what is What's it? That? Remember that Fat Rhino game? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Midnight Express. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. Let's, we should actually. It was so bad last time. I think it's due. Let's go play Fat Rhino. Yeah. Where, where's that? It's on the floor out there. Yeah, let's it's do so that. loud out there. Uh, we'll, we'll suffer through it. It's gonna be really loud when we win on it. Fat Rhino. I don't know if we have enough money to play that game. I don't I think, think we have enough money to play any game. Fifteen thousand and didn't get a bonus, but I think we should try it again. What do you think of that, Chet? Oh wait, what was your nickname? Yeah, Chet. Zit. <laughs> Zit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go play Fat Game Rhino. Is a Sando. So Big Cat is in for ten percent of this. Yeah, starting with. Uh, uh, so you bring us the luck. So I guess one thirty-five. He he had remembered that we played this once and just got completely and utterly wrecked. So this machine owes us. Fat Rhino. Is that good? 
Uh, what are these? The, this is the bonus symbol? It must be. Because it made a clinking noise. It's only a five-liner, right? Yes. Okay. You sure you like the five lines, man? Not 20? <laughs> Remember, we had the option for 20 last time. No, you can only bet 50, I think, with that. Uh... Well, God forbid we bet less than 50. 25 lines. Uh... Yeah, no, we got this. Come on. Oh, come on. Fat Rhino. Why do some some symbols chirp? No, it's the bonus symbol that makes the chirp. I didn't see it, but it ch something chirped. Oh, is that? Oh, that's one? good. Look at that. We're winning. Fat Rhino is like a very funny name for a game. Yes, very funny. Well, you I mean, Big Zit is kind of a funny name for a <laughs> big name, but the slots guy, old Zit. You know, so there's that, that strip club in Vegas called Spear. Oh, Spearmint Rhino. Yeah. And then so so I guess someone they've spun off and someone started their own and they call it the Peppermint Hippo. Yeah. So now there's the Peppermint Hippo and the Spearmint Rhino here in Vegas. I thought the Peppermint Hippo was a joke when I first heard about it. Peppermint I didn't. Hippo? Yeah. Okay. Have you heard of that? I, I think WVG asked me to meet him there once, but I didn't know what he meant. So I decided <laughs> I'm going home. Yeah. yeah. Peppermint Hippo. Here you go. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start one called the uh, Raspberry Armadillo. Well, no, because there was that, that poker yeah, event that we yeah. stopped in at, and WBG did walk in, but we didn't stay long. He just long enough to win a, one really big all-in hand, if I remember oh, I mean, correctly. We got five lines. Yeah, we should have played the Line 20. Yeah, five lines is awesome. Come on. <laughs> What do we win? Nothing? Yeah. Come on. Oh. There's supposed to be a lot of wilds in there, isn't there? Yeah, funny. Look at that. Almost a bonus and a bonus. Wow, what a sando. Come on, last chance. Well, that was awesome. Tilted Rhino. What do you think? I'm going to start one called Raspberry Armadillo. I think you should call it Raspberry Armadillo. You know, <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> so I don't even remember playing this game. You say we got wrecked on it, huh? We lost 15,000. We played all three of these right here. Yeah? Every Yes. Yeah, it was... Well... It's not pretty. Seems similar so far. Come Let's on. Let's get the train bonus. Yeah, you win. You win. Such a good set setup. Get the bonus right away. That bonus was a sando. I was all excited. We got a bonus. All for nothing. Question here. How many? Let's just do max bet dies and with 25 lines, see if we can make sure. some money here. No. No, just dimes and dollars. Let's get some line pays here to get that bonus and win some money. So let's get. Oh man, you know you don't see a lot of the. Uh, the fat rhinos? You don't see a lot of the those, you know? It's like the tough. Balls? Yeah. Oh, look at that. And you certainly don't see six. Don't you only need I, five on here? No, I think you need six. All right, well, let's get six. And it better be a huge bonus, because we're, what are we down? About uh, $6,500. Uh, $6, That's about right. Not good. Not gonna be able to get even on 25s though, unfortunately. Yeah, we are. I mean, we get the, we get a big, a big bonus. No, nope, not gonna happen. Well, we can win something and then we can bet more. How about that? So this is this is similar to our our last experience. Oh, Maxi would have been good. 
Yeah, it's pretty similar. All right. Yeah, this is awesome. They're a big cat. So in high school, did you just dominate or what? Yeah, I was pretty good. I played uh, four sports in high school. Yeah, what were they? I played basketball, baseball, football, and track. Wow. Yeah. What was your event? Shot put and yes. track? Shot was it really? Yeah. Yeah. How far can you throw it? Uh, actually, that was my weakest one. Weakest sport. Uh, I think 50, which was pretty good. Is that good? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think 50. If you told me five, I would be like, okay. Yeah, it sounds like it was, it was pretty good. But what, there what? was a uh, people that could throw like upper 50s. Uh, like, that would have been the state. What about the javelin? No javelin, just shot put. How heavy is that thing? Here you go. You don't remember? I don't either. You didn't wrestle? No, no red. Basketball. You got to realize, well, I was always this height since seventh grade, but I was never this wide. I was really skinny. Yeah? Until college. So basketball. How, basketball is one of my best sports. How tall were you in seventh grade? Six four. Jeez. So you were really tall relative to the other seventh graders. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe six two, you know, in seventh grade. But I was pretty much fully grown by the time I was like fourteen. Height was. Were your parents like feeding you growth hormone or something? Maybe they might have slipped it in. Yeah. Where did you uh, go to high school? Like what uh, state were you from? Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. All of us from Illinois originally. You know, it's games like this that make me not like gambling. Yeah? Yeah, I like when you win on games. Interesting. I vastly prefer it. To what, losing? Losing, yeah, it's just a sando. You know, you're just like saying, oh, that was a perfectly good $9,000 we had a few minutes ago, and now it's all gone. Well, it's just, you gotta try Stay one long shot to get it back. If you get the if you get the midnight train, you're even. Yeah. Yeah. I would have quit after the first bonus. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I, yeah. I it was quit. so bad last time. How, how can you forget? It? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Big cat likes to stir the pot. Yeah. He should be called Big Spoon. <laughs> So how do you get the Midnight Express bonus? You need the six balls with the train, or five in the train. I don't I believe it's. Gonna, I don't believe it's possible. I don't think you're gonna get it though. I don't think I'll get anything. Here you go. Sando. Go ahead, Zit. <laughs> yeah, listen. How do you guys like my guitar shirt? I thought it was pretty cool. I'm just gonna pretend that I spent nine thousand dollars on this shirt. I think it was eight, but yeah. Wasn't it nine? 8,100. Wait, we had 31.35 and five grand. Who cares? Okay, eight grand, yeah. Idiotic. Total Sando. The old bouncing around thing didn't work this time. I guess the bottom line is nothing works every time. This is how gambling works. I'm gonna explain it all here today in this wrap up. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose and sometimes you break even. Overall, in the long run, you're probably gonna lose. But if you're having fun and you're getting free dinners and stuff, hey, it's good times. All right, I don't know what else to say. That fat rhino game, off the list. Uh, <laughs> all aboard, I still like, but we can't play it without W2 Jesus. And Huff and Puff, you know, it's a staple. Uh, but there's some Sando bonuses today. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go play Ultimate X and win it all back. See you tomorrow.